Hit it. My name is Lova Kramer and I'm the founder of Why Not 3, which is a work-life balance training program for overachievers. I'm from Rotterdam City, uh, but originally from Belgium, Antwerp. About a year and a half ago now, I was speaking at a conference in Germany and I, I was speaking for a while at that point and I had done really cool workshops with people that people really liked, but I was missing always this one thing where you truly inspire someone and out of nowhere I get this really random workshop and it was called work-life balance and at the time I just thought oh this fluffy thing that nobody cares about like what can you do with work-life balance I just want to achieve constantly and what I noticed is that in the last eight years my mentors had shared really simple and powerful principles with me that I've been applying unconsciously and thinking that everybody knows them so I went into the workshop thinking that I would just share something as a reminder to the people that were in the workshop. And what ended up being uh, is me finding out that nobody knows this to the point where people actually came up to me and started sharing really deep stories. And I started realizing how big of a problem it is and how little information is very practical to be applied just like the mentors that I had had shared it with me. Now it's been a year and a half. We have a ton of video testimonials that range all ages uh, from executives that have started a lot of companies that have had IPOs and non-IPOs and failures uh, to students that go through exams or have a ton of jobs to do, no support from family and how to combine that. I had to go through a similar experience where I was alone, no family, I had to go through law school and I founded all my companies to support myself. And then I kind of bring everything together and why not three? What that original workshop sparked in me, I keep still in why not three, but I build and I give more of my experiences. As I grow, why not three will grow as well. Work-life balance in my world is having constant activities in health, wealth and relationships and achieving optimal productivity in all areas. The moment you start lacking in one area of life, it'll start influencing the other areas. And the analogy I gave was, imagine you're building a three-legged table. If you start building one leg and you only focus on one leg, like health, then wealth and relationships, the two other legs will not stand. There are no legs, so the table won't stand. If you're focusing on building one leg really, really well, and the two other legs you're kind of building, your table will be slanted. So the, the key then for balance is to achieve a kind of similar focus where you're building all three legs almost simultaneously. And that's how you then achieve work-life balance with peak productivity. My mentor always said, um, fail fast forward. The people that win, fail fast forward. And they think, but they think as they go. And when they fail, they get up and go back fail fast forward. No matter what your age is, being young has an influence because you don't have that much life experience. So the number one hack that I share with everybody is go get a lot of experience in the shortest amount of time. What motivates me is to inspire freedom in others and I mean freedom of time, freedom of health, freedom of choosing who you want to be, ultimate freedom in some sense, so that those people can then follow their passions and become the best person they can be. To inspire at least 70 million people to the point where it becomes a shift that people understand that that number one problem is actually very fixable. It just requires a lot of discipline uh, and a lot of system building uh, and a lot of investment on your part. Surroundings, I guess it has two aspects then. One, the people and one, the environment around you. So uh, with people, I follow one quote, and it's what my mentor told me. You're only as good as the five people around you, and I think Jim Rohn originally said that. It's very true. Uh, when I was surrounding myself with students, I was performing on student level. The moment I started surrounding myself with business owners, suddenly I had a craving 
to automate my business more. The moment I start surrounding myself with people that have companies with revenues over a million dollars, suddenly I started creating systems that could scale my company to get to that point. I'm not saying I'm at that point, but suddenly you start seeing stuff uh, that you didn't see before. So every time I'm trying to upgrade everything, I try to surround myself with those five people. If you want to grow, if you want to be able to have a business and have a lifestyle that many people talk about, then you can't hold yourself back because society grows really fast. And if you're holding yourself back, at one point you're going to fail. I literally moved countries because I realized how important surroundings were. The moment I moved to a city where their entrepreneurship is better, is more promoted, I started getting way bigger deals and way bigger clients. It's really scary to move to another country or do something. But, uh, and I read this in a book by a guy that used to do TEDx Brussels. And he said that in some way when you're running a business, everything has to become practical. And one of those things that becomes practical is looking at countries as if they are businesses. If they hold you back as a business, it's not a good investment to be in that country. So I didn't drop Belgium, I just expanded the markets. So now we do Belgium and the Netherlands and we hire in both countries. But our main focus is going to be there where people support us more. Where you are with your personal development is where your business is gonna be. And I keep learning the same mistakes time and time again. Uh, so keep upgrading yourself, keep doing personal development. You can find me on whynot3.com. Why not, like the word, and then three the number.com. For the guys on your YouTube channel, you can go to whynot3.com forward slash 30 dash day dash challenge. Um, it's free for everyone that is watching this, so you can just go and I pretty much lay out everything there. You can also like find the interview we had here on my iTunes podcast and stuff like that. Thank you very much.